<sighs> okay, so what I have is y equals negative three times x plus seven squared minus eight. And what I wanna do is show you how to graph it by using vertex form and our lovely parent graph. Now, when graphing it, we also are gonna determine our axis of symmetry and our vertex. And I wanna tell you, you don't have to graph it to be able to figure out that information. When looking at our parent graph, we know that the axis of symmetry is gonna be our vertical line when x equals zero, and our vertex is at zero, zero. Now, when looking at vertex form, we know that a equals negative three, x equals negative seven, and k equals negative eight. Remember, it's x opposite of negative seven, so we could say x opposite of negative seven, so that's why I know that x equals negative seven. Now, remember, let's go back through our transformations. A is gonna tell us if it's gonna be dilated and also reflection, so since A is negative, we know we're gonna reflect over the x-axis. X equals negative seven, that means I'm going to shift my graph seven units to the left, and K equals negative eight, that means I'm gonna shift my graph down eight units down. Now, when I'm talking about the vertex, what's nice about vertex form is my vertex comes in the form of h comma k. So as long, why don't why I write this as x? As long as I know what h and k are, I know that's my vertex because if you look at this graph, what I've done is I've pretty much taken this parent graph and shifted it seven units to the left and eight units down. So rather than my vertex being at zero, zero, it's now shifted seven units to the left and eight units down. So I can just say my vertex is negative seven, negative eight. And that's very helpful um, when we have that's very helpful when we have an equation that's in vertex form. Now, we look at our axis of symmetry. Now, axis symmetry, it doesn't really matter if my graph has been shifted up or down. We only really care about the axis of symmetry if it's been shifted left or right. And if it's originally at x equals 0 and I shift my graph 7 units to the left, now they know my axis symmetry is x equals negative 7. All right, Because it was originally at 0 since I shifted over 7 units to the left. Now it's at x equals negative 7. Now, to find the intercepts, we are going to want to do a little probing into how this graph is going to look. So when I go ahead and sketch this graph, I know I'm going to go 7 units to the left and 8 units down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. OK. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to go through this. And um, yeah, it's 0 plus 7. I'm not going to probably find the x and y intercepts. I'll show you later how to go and find those. But by looking at the graph, we're probably not going get to get to that point because you're going to see this is going to be horizontally compressed. So it's going to be a very skinny graph. And my y-intercept is going to be way down here. So we probably won't get to my x and y-intercepts for this one. Well, obviously, we'll actually be able to see. Since this is negative, we know my graph is going to go in the negative direction. So we're not ever going to cross the x-axis. So the x-intercepts can very simply be seen. There's not going to be any um, real x-intercepts. However, let's go and take a look at how we're going to at least plot some points so we can see what this graph looks like. If I'm looking at this graph, I know I go over one, up one. But now I'm going over one, up one, but I'm going to multiply my n value by negative 3. So instead of going over one, up one, it's now going to be over one, up one, but now it's multiplied by negative 3, which means over one, down three units. And then when I go to the left, well, negative 1 squared is still 1, and then I'm multiplying it by negative 3, so it's going to be or negative 1, down 3 as well. Okay, So the graph is going to take a form, something like this. All right, And there is an x-intercept or a y-intercept, but I'll show you a little bit later on how to go and find that algebraically rather than just by looking at this graph. Thanks.